Alright guys, Topic 46 here, working yourselves back to Road 2. Let's continue with our Kawasaki H2R races. We are racing at Macau. Let's go see if we can do this. I've uh, had quite a few attempts at this track. It's been, um, it hasn't been easy. This bike does seem to understeer quite a lot around this track. And uh, going from one direction to the other is really difficult. Just because the bike was really heavy. And... Uh, yeah, it's not the easiest thing to ride around here, but I'm going to see if I can actually do this race. It would be nice. The AI are fucking annoying me. Um, usually they're just trying to take me out, which is fucking annoying. Especially off the start. They've gone wide. We're into the lead. Let's see if we can pull away now. So it's taken me quite a while to get used to this track again on this bike, just because um, with a, a normal super bike, it's really easy to kind of get the grips with the circuit but with this one uh, you have to kind of relearn your braking points and stuff like that so um, yeah it's taken a little while but I think I'm there uh, or thereabouts anyway and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to win this race because it's uh, it's a difficult track anyway because you've got like hardly any room for error and on this bike it, uh, it doesn't like any errors if you make an error it does tend to throw you off whether um, it's understeering, pulling a fucking massive wheelie or just it's really unstable on the on the brakes especially when you're trail braking into a corner it does tend to like bobble quite a bit and um, when on the brakes trying to turn in trying to trail brake it doesn't want to turn in which is a fucking annoying but we're in the lead at the moment we've actually got a pretty decent gap over second place and a huge gap from second to third. Here we are at the hairpin, which I usually have quite a bit of trouble with. But on this bike, it's not too bad. Um, I tend to use the rear brake quite a bit on this bike just to kind of settle it down into corners and get around corners. So if you're uh, having a, a few issues with this bike, I would advise using the rear brake quite a bit. I've used a brake, the rear brake a lot more on this bike than any other bike just because with this one, if you use just the front brake trying to turn into a corner when you trail braking, it does unsettle the bike and it does just fucking spear off into the distance. So, um, rear brake is your best friend on this bike. It helps a hell of a lot. Um, like I said, when trail braking into a corner, using the rear brake does stabilize the bike and stop it bobbling and wobbling all over the place. Um, that was shit through there. We're probably about to lose the lead maybe yes we are we've lost the lead but we can get him up the inside so we're back into the lead and uh, we should be fine for now as we go uphill I'm using no traction control and no anti wheelie on this bike and uh, it is quite difficult because you can't get the drive out the corners that you want with traction control turned right off um, and with anti wheelie turned right off as well just the, the smallest amount of throttle I mean, we've lost the lead again the smallest amount of throttle does tend to uh, make the front wheel want to come up in the air oh fuck <laughs> whoopsie daisy never mind um, I mean the AI have taken me out plenty of times while I was trying to do this race so I'm not actually that bothered that I've taken the AI out. They're fucking stupid anyway. They have no sense of uh, spatial awareness and they're just fucking stupid. Um, I was trying this race occasionally um, I've had well pretty much all the time off the line someone veers off to the right straight into my rear which has spins the rear up and high sides me. That's happened quite a few times on uh, this race, just uh, doing some different attempts. Um, also, I've had um, braking, uh, well, out braking me, but not actually trying to go around me, just trying to go through me, which, again, makes me veer off into the fucking barrier. So, um, you know, a milestone really needs to work on the AI for this game. Um, it's they're not that great they're not that quick and they have no idea in relation to where other riders are on the track which is fucking annoying 
So, um, hence why I'm not actually that bothered that I took that AI out, just because it's fucking stupid anyway. So, it is what it is, but we're in the lead at the moment. We've got one more lap to do of the Macau GP. And, uh, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I mean, we've got a fucking huge gap anyway, so it should be alright. We should get a win. Um, I'm actually kind of pleased to finally do this race just because it's, uh, it's taken a few attempts. This bike isn't that great around this circuit. Like I said, it does understeer a hell of a lot. And, uh, yeah, it just doesn't feel that stable, doesn't feel that good. Um, it's like using a missile around here that is very difficult to stop and uh, very difficult to actually change direction. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass trying to use this bike on a narrow circuit like this, but like I said, it is what it is. And um, we should, hopefully, we're going 1.4 seconds quicker than we did the last lap. So we're going quicker than normal. Let's continue with this. We've got a huge gap over six seconds. So this should be ours for the take-in, barring no mistakes, but... Yeah, I'm actually going to be really happy just to get this race out of the way. Um, I'm not... Yeah, I don't mind the circuit, it's just on this bike, it's really annoying, more than anything. It's not difficult, it's just annoying. Um, the speed of the bike, you, could, you just have to learn so many more braking markers and uh, learn where you can go full throttle and when you, where you can't. Through the hairpin. See, on this, this is the only bike I've actually used around the hairpin that's actually gone around the hairpin pretty well. Um, normal super bikes, for some reason, just the turning circle on them doesn't seem to be as good as this one. And we've crashed. Shit. But I think we got, yeah, we got a big enough lead anyway. I was, um, wasn't actually paying attention then, but uh, we got, we got, we got a big enough gap. So final corner. Out we come, we ain't gonna go stupid. But it's gonna be another win on the Kawasaki H2R. And we're done. So th that was a really difficult race. Um, I'm, I'm just really glad that race is over because that bike on that track is not a good combination. I'm sure there's people out there that enjoy racing this Kawasaki around this track, but for me, I pff, it's, it's not a good combination. <laughs> Right, now we can go on to the next race. Um, what the fuck's happened? The game's frozen. Don't you dare. You absolute fucking no. So the game's gone back to the dashboard. It's uh, It froze and it backed out of itself. And I've got a horrible feeling... That it hasn't saved my progress because it was loading. So I think it hasn't actually counted my Macau win as a win. I don't think it even thinks that I've done the race. Fuck's sake. I'm not going to be happy if it hasn't actually saved my progress. Ah, well the milestone games always fucking crash. Right. Come on, fucking load already. Yes, it's a dashboard, I don't care, just load. I swear that bike sounds different every time you load up the game. Right, come on. I need to go back to what I was doing. Please tell me I haven't lost my progress. I don't want to do that race again. Come on. Fucking load! Come on! It's not that difficult to load a game. Right. Okay, moment of truth. Into World Tour events. We need to go to our season events and go to the right category. And I. Ah. Oh. Come on. So need to go to Hyper Sport Expert. Not looking forward to pressing the A button. 
No, it's not fucking counted it as a win. It's not counted it as I've done the actual track anyway. Fuck it, I'm going on to the next track. The Hellenic Towers. I'm not doing the Macau GP again. That was fucking horrible. We're doing the next race. Let's hope that we can do this one and let's hope that the game doesn't freeze and back out and do all kinds of shitty stuff. So let's go do this. This is a track, the very first track we played on the game on the uh, Yamaha R1, uh, uh, no, just standard R1, fully stock, the first race to get thrown into. There wasn't the full circuit back then, but uh, I did the weekly challenge on the electric bike around here as well, so I I pretty much know where I'm going. Oh fucking hell, where I'm going. Inside. Oh, maybe not. so close so yeah I roughly know where this track's going um, don't, know, don't know it as well as some of the others but I know roughly where it's going so that'll help a lot again it's, a, it's another track like Macau it's not as tight and twisty as Macau um, but you can't run too wide it is wider than Macau but again you've got no runoff you just got walls so um yeah, don't want to be hitting them with the barriers. We're in the lead, and let's hope that we can just pull away off into the distance and uh, get another win on the Kawasaki H2R. We're getting towards the end of this uh, category now, and um, nope, we've lost the lead. At the way, nope, yeah. Step out the rear then. That's another thing that annoys me about the AI. If you lightly touch them from the rear, they just slow down so fucking much. It's so annoying. Especially if you're trying to get in their slipstream and uh, you, you lightly tap them just by accident. And uh, they, they will just like bang on the brakes just to slow not only, only themselves down, but you down as well. It's so annoying. Oh, we've lost the lead again the way coming through done back into the lead that's the end of the first lap so this track not as long as Macau and uh, we should be able to uh, we're in the lead already so we should be able to pull away hopefully fingers crossed I am loving the background on this uh, this track. There's there's so much going on in the background compared to like the first ride. Um, obviously you got like trees and that, but it's the background. There's so much more going on than uh, than previous milestone games. So it's definitely a huge improvement. Um, I will be doing a video on tracks that I think should be in the game. Um, because there is quite a few that I think should be in the game and would be good for the game. But uh, whether that will be in Ride 3. Um, because they've already announced a lot of DLC and a lot of it is just bike packs. Uh, one of which, I mean, the only kind of bike pack that's actually caught my eye that they're releasing is, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's got the, uh, pretty much the, the B, a lot of BSB uh, teams in it. It's got the EP the Yamaha in it. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other BSB teams in. So that's that's the only one I'm really interested in. The rest of them don't really look that great. Um, but we have to wait and see to see what is actually in the bike packs because a lot of them are um, dated for the beginning of next year. So. I think there's like maybe one more this year and then the rest of them the next year. Um, so obviously Marston trying to prolong the life of this game. Uh, obviously I will be starting a league on this game at the beginning of next year. We've got one more race to do in uh, Valentino Rossi the game for the league. Um, which will be a week Monday because I'm away all next week. So I can't do the race then. But a week Monday will be the very last race in uh, Valentino for us in the game before switching over to ride 2 to do two simultaneous leagues 
a super sport and a super bike league. Um, of course, I'm still looking for loads of people to do it. We need loads of people. I Ideally, I want enough people to be able to do, run two leagues together. Um, I know that we did have a lot of interest in the last league and I could have probably run to two lobbies for that league but I decided just to stick to one but I think with this one we can do super sport and super bike and I think that both leagues will be really competitive and really interesting to watch so that's what I'm hoping to do um, I know that, that there has been a lot of interest about it already so that is a real positive um, so I will do uh, an announcement video on the actual league when the time is near and uh, then we'll do a s couple of sort out races to figure out who's doing what racing um, and uh, obviously once I've done that then uh, we'll start the league but I will be doing an announcement uh, video a bit like what I've done with the Valentino Rossi the game league um, I will do an announcement video just to let you guys know how you can enter and um, what the rules will be and all that kind of stuff so that will be coming soon I, um, I will probably well I will do that before the end of this year before Christmas um, and I will also ideally do this sort of races before Christmas as well so that going into next year everyone knows what they're doing but um, there's another win on the Kawasaki H2R. It's time around the Hellenix Towers. More credits for us. Now I can actually save my credits for the uh, the Suta. Because I don't think there's any other bikes really that I need or want to buy. Um, my next goal is to buy the Suta and see what that's like to race. But um, after that, then we can pretty much just save credits and buy whatever we want. We've gone up to uh, 59th place. So, we're in the top 60. Soon to be in the top 50. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.